the most iconic designer collaboration bags. But before that, I want to say that I'm glad you're on my channel. Welcome to Haim's Luxury Vlog. If you're keen on investing in a piece, then weighing your options is a very important step. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We talk about here all about luxury brands. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Designer collaborations have become a mainstay of the fashion world. From Tiffany and Co joining forces with Nike to Manolo Blahnik teaming up with Birkenstock, brands know that new and unexpected creative partnerships can result in exceptional designs and blockbuster sales. With demand soaring for vintage collaborations on the second-hand market too, we're charting the most iconic designer handbag alliances in fashion history. Wishlists at the ready 2001, Louis Vuitton x Steven Sprouse. It wasn't always the case that designers had such a collegiate approach to collaboration. Before the turn of the new century, the likes of Gucci, Dior and Balenciaga were sacred brands, not to be played with. That all changed in 2001, when Louis Vuitton's then-creative director Marc Jacobs partnered with the punk fashion designer and artist Steven Sprouse on a revolutionary new line of handbags. In place of the elegant serif LV monogram, Sprouse emblazoned Vuitton handbags and luggage with thick, bold lettering. The collection was so popular that pieces were reissued in New Day Blow colorways in 2009. Today, bags from either release are considered true vintage grails on the secondary market. 2003, Louis Vuitton x Takashi Murakami. While the Steven Sprouse collection kick-started the trend for designer collaborations, it was the phenomenal success of Marc Jacobs' next partnership with Takashi Murakami that truly cemented it. Jacobs joined forces with the Japanese pop artist for Louis Vuitton's SS03 collection, beginning an alliance that lasted until 2015. Working in his signature, super flat, style, Murakami's, monogram multicolor, collection revamped the LV logo in 33 different colors on either a black or white background, giving classic baton accessories a dazzling new palette. The monogram multicolor speedy bag was the it bag of the moment, and indeed, the series has since found fans in a new generation of bag lovers, such as Kylie Jenner. More Murakami collections followed, including Cherry Blossom, Panda, Ceruses, Cosmic Blossom and Monogramouflage. It was a watershed moment for handbag design that showed the power of pairing classic fashion with contemporary artists, a strategy that Louis Vuitton repeated to great success with Richard Prince in 2008 and Yayoi Kusama in 2012 and 2023. 2016, Dior Lady Art. Maria Grazia Churi celebrated her appointment as creative director of Dior in 2016 with a typically thoughtful project, Dior Lady Art. A group of artists, including Mark Quinn and Matt Collishaw, were given carte blanche to reimagine the brand's iconic Lady Dior bag in an array of different textures, prints and embellishments. Since then, the project has returned each year, giving a new roster of artistic luminaries the opportunity to customize the Lady Dior. Released in limited quantities to stores around the world, the bags are a celebration of haute couture creativity and artistic diversity. Recent standouts include Alex Gardner's surrealist vision in holographic leather and matte black velvet, and the feminist artist Judy Chicago's psychedelic tribute to women's history. 2016, Gucci x Trevor Andrew. In 2016, Gucci creative director Alessandro Michel debuted a surprising new line of accessories for the fashion house in collaboration with a relative unknown, the graffiti artist Trevor Andrew, Aka Gucci Ghost. Andrew had begun using the Gucci logo in his graffiti work, painting everything from street signs to old television sets with the iconic double G rather than send out a cease and desist letter, Michel saw an opportunity. He invited Andrew to become one of the Gucci design team, and together they produced a range of bags daubed in bright graffiti decoration. The real tote bag, crafted in sleek black calfskin with dripping neon yellow letters, was a particular favorite. Michelle's inclusive and iconoclastic attitude to creative collaboration showed that when it comes to fashion, rules are made to be broken. And if you're still here watching, please don't forget to subscribe. 2017, Hermes x Nigel Peak. The fashion house of Hermes isn't known for sharing its secrets, but even they couldn't resist a designer collaboration. In 2017, they partnered with the architect and illustrator Nigel Peak on a range of geometric handbags that showcased his unique drawing style. The 1-2-3 and away we go, 
Berken has a Mondrian-esque pattern inspired by the Ferris wheel of the Grande Rue de la Concorde, while the, on a summer day, Constance is decorated with a bright and cheerful graphic print. The So Black, on a summer night, Constance sees the same illustration rendered in matte and shiny black sombrero leather. Peek's handbags have become hugely popular on the resale market, and are very rare to come across. 2017, Louis Vuitton X Supreme. Ever the pioneer of designer collaborations, Louis Vuitton's collection with the cult skater label Supreme in 2017 was a game changer for the industry. Never before had a luxury house partnered with a streetwear brand on this scale. It showed the changing face of the luxury world, and the rising dominance of premium streetwear. Spearheaded by Vuitton's artistic director of menswear Kim Jones, the collection ranged from sneakers to skateboards, denim to scarves, and of course, bags. The tomato red holdalls, crossbody bags, backpacks and trunks are extremely coveted on the secondary market, with the trunks selling for upwards of €100,000. Since then, luxury houses have continued to embrace collaborations with streetwear and sportswear brands, with Gucci partnering with the North Face in 2021 and Adidas in 2022. 2019, Hermes XJR. In 2020, Kim Kardashian was pictured on Instagram showing off an intricately embroidered red birkin. It was the handiwork of Jonathan Riss, founder of the fashion brand JR. A long-time embroiderer who learned his craft in India, Riss reworks vintage handbags into astounding, one-off art pieces. In 2019, he sourced 1,000 vintage Hermes Kelly, Birkin and Constance to reinvent. 2021, Gucci X Balenciaga Hacker Project. While the last two decades have seen multiple collaborations between high fashion brands, artists and streetwear labels, Gucci and Balenciaga's Hacker Project in 2021 presented something different, a partnership between two of the biggest luxury houses around. To mark Gucci's 100th anniversary year, Alessandro Michel presented a collection that had been hacked by the disruptive aesthetic of Balenciaga's Demna Givazalia. Tote bags were vandalized with, this is not a Gucci bag, while the iconic Gigi logo was replaced with a shining double B in 2022, we saw Fendi and Versace follow suit with a joint collection under the name, Fendus. The brands declared, it's an exchange of roles and brand codes rather than a collaboration. I hope you like this vlog. And if you're not my subscriber yet, the button is below. Like and subscribe. Lots of love to everyone.